I wish you all a very happy Easter in the risen Lord Jesus. Whenever we read the resurrection accounts in the Gospels, there's one particular mood that seems to come through, and that is the fear that the apostles and the holy women experienced. We hear again and again how they were awestruck and filled with fear when they saw Jesus. But he always says to them, do not be afraid. Now, there may be two reasons why they were afraid. The first could be a fear of being reproached, a fear of being told off because they had rather messed up. They had betrayed our Lord. They'd not believed what he said about his suffering and death and rising to new life again. And all this may have filled them with a certain sense of apprehension when they encounter our Lord in his risen body. And the second reason why there might have been fear is because they didn't recognize him. Our Lord in his glorified body looked completely different. And so they would have been awestruck and perhaps frightened. I think this starts to resonate a little bit with us in the feelings that we've had since this time last year. Many of us have felt fear through sickness, through disease, through the possibility of death. We may have felt fear through isolation, fear of losing our jobs, and fear of just not knowing what the future has in store. And so perhaps the one virtue, the one characteristic that we have to have on this Easter day 2021 is the virtue of hope. We must trust God now that as we go forward out of this pandemic, we have hope in the risen Jesus, the hope that his light and his life gives us. This year, the Paschal candle here is a symbol, as always, of the risen Jesus, but in a particular way of that hope that we profess. And you'll see this year that the Paschal candle is de de decorated with lilies. The lily is often associated with Easter, but more importantly, in this particular year, it's associated with St. Joseph because the lily is the symbol of St. Joseph. It's often used as the symbol of holy purity. And so the candle this year is dedicated to St. Joseph. It's dedicated with the lilies to remind us that this is his very special year. So as I wish you now, all of you, a very happy Eastertide, my prayers and my greetings go in a particular way to those of you who are sick, those of you who are suffering at this time, those of you who are still isolated, still feeling vulnerable. My prayer is for you that you will be filled with this hope and this confidence that the risen Lord Jesus gives us and that we may celebrate now into this next period of 50 days of Eastertide with great hope, with great optimism and with great joy. So God bless you all.